away we go. Away we go. We successfully got out. For yeah. those of you not following the previous video, we located this abandoned storage unit. We believe it belonged to Wes. We believe we found Wes's grave and near the grave we found a key. Now we found this desk inside that has locks. Us and Salt Bay over here are gonna go and try and open up this desk. desk. See what's inside. I mean, obviously it has to be something yeah. good. If this storage unit was already like rummaged through. Update, still can't hear it on my left ear. Hoping that'll go away by the time we get back to the studio. Something about altitude and elevation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes your ears pop. So guess what guys? We have a little announcement to make. We do. What's the little announcement? Show them, Sam. Oh, look, look at, that. at that. Look at that. Show them, Bailey. Look at that. Wood, show yours. Look at that one. Guys, these are all 863 wallpapers that you can get right now on the link down in the description below. $4.99, you get eight unique, high quality wallpapers designed by our resident designer, Emiko. Emiko! You guys know what's up. Also, these wallpapers are free for premium users, so if you're a premium user, go check it out on Spellbound right now, free download. If you're not, check it out, $4.99, you get eight different wallpapers and like some variations as well. Support us if you're interested. I actually have one on mine, the Mountaineer. So check it out, link in the description below. Emiko worked really hard on these. Yay! Support Emiko. the 863 team. Woo, thanks Emiko. Thank you, Emiko. <laughs> I don't want to touch this, somebody I'll, I'll pick it up. We'll or wait a second, again. your quality. No. <laughs> no. No. There's a difference between equality and equity. Okay, are we ready? Do you know the difference? What is it? No. Okay, that's a <laughs> I, I saw a really cute infographic, though, that explained it to me equality once. Equality but... is generally equality of Can you opportunity. <laughs> equity is equality of outcome. So no matter how much you work you put into something, you should have the equal output. You asked. <laughs> You guys going first. Equity. <laughs> Where are we going? Warehouse? Uh, where are we going? Nope. <laughs> Mountaineer. <laughs> Mount near the Mountaineer? Mountaineer? Okay, that's not a bad idea. Near the Mountaineer. I can't see. I'll turn the lights on. There's over. something about this that is so comedic for me. Go like this way? Uh, Let's clear this area right there. Like, see this nice little grass patch? Hey, Matt, <laughs> this has your name on it. Um, I don't know why we still have that. That's such an old well, Dope or No video. Well, because every time I feel like it's... people get rid of writables, you're like, where are all my writables? Me? No, just that one writable. Can't I just have one thing for me? Just that one hoverboard. And this guy. <laughs> and that's a hot take from your dad, Matthias. You're not my father. I wasn't talking to you. You're not my dad. <laughs> You're not my dad. Well, okay. Yeah. How are we? So where did this come from? That's it's woods. woods. Oh. Are we getting bolt cutters? How are you we? You have to go the long way. <laughs> <laughs> Let's open this up. Can we mentally prepare? We cut it. Documents. Yeah. What else would be? Documents. Here? What if antidote is in here? <gasps> I, I'm not kidding. Like I feel like there's a chance there could be serum or antidote in here. Yeah. Based on the theories that we read earlier, I just want to mentally prepare us for finding that Wes was maybe not a good guy. But I feel like I just got a, would have said that. I just got a chilling reminder. Phantom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think probably all of the people that we've been conversing with oh, are geez. sorry. Watch out, dude. Are a little evil in some way. I don't. Well, everyone's a little evil. Yeah. Literally everyone. Just if you deny that, you're even more evil. I'm not denying that. I'm just saying these people are <laughs> super secretive, and so I think that... Yeah, but maybe they're secretive for a cause. I'm just worried like that the government is. You can be secretive and not be evil. <laughs> yeah. Like, like the, I could hide the fact that... The company is going under. <laughs> and, like, no one would know. And then you don't want me to tell you that stuff, right? Because then you'd be scared. Nah. <laughs> are you trying to... Okay. We're fine. Um, we'll be okay. Yeah, my, my guess. Eventually. <laughs> I don't like these jokes. <laughs> I'm just messing. I'll be fine. <laughs> Documents, serum. Another box that's locked. You want to do it? Yeah, a box oh, is in a box. I don't trust box. my strength. Yes, yes. No, I don't trust just in power. That file cabinet. We're here You're for fine. it. I'm just practicing. Well, don't pinch your leg in yeah, this. No, okay. I'm not. 
Thank you. Okay, well, I was just making sure. No, I appreciate it. Okay, I just yeah. didn't know if you've actually used these things before. Are you trying to mansplain <laughs> some, something that I've never done before to me? You could do it. I don't know, man. Oh, you got it. No, dude. Not yes, you got it. You got it. I don't think you, I don't you, you're no, getting... you think you can't. Are you kidding? <laughs> no, dude. What about Bailey? Bailey, come here. Let's see. What if Bailey and I just each take one and push it together? <laughs> See, how do we get equity no, out of this dude, situation? This isn't... <laughs> <laughs> so is that going to work? I know. It's so What's here? <laughs> there it is. There we go. <clears throat> now flex. Flex. What's up? That was all me. No, <laughs> you mean. <laughs> <laughs> He millennial flex. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was all me, dude. <laughs> that was all me. <laughs> oh. Wait. It's oh, wait. No, there's a bar. On the inside. Look. Oh, there is. There, there's a bar. Wait, wait, don't pull that. Wait, wait. Don't pull. I don't Why? know. It could be booby trapped or something. Did you say? Wait. Did you literally just say booby trap? Booby trap. It's booby trap. It, I, all I saw booby. was you Stop. pulling Stop out. Stop saying it. Booby. All I saw. Stop <laughs> saying it. In all seriousness. That looks. That looks. That sketchy. looks like a trap. Like there is a pin just right there that's blocking the door. Is there like a hidden lock? Is this like a? a okay, I have test? an idea. We get a long chain and a clip. And we pull it from okay. a distance. Yeah, okay. let's try that. All I'm wow. thinking is like, what if Wes is trying right? to hide something from Deb? Like that's what I'm worried. About. Like his mistress's letters. <laughs> like he's working for. Because that's what Deb is interested in. <laughs> I mean, is Wes cheating on me? You, Sometimes you have to know. She's still human, you know. Okay, Sam. So oh, oh we're, we're, we're moving on to this. We're moving okay, on. Should we okay. back away? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is going to be so stupid if nothing happens. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, wait, wait it just pulled that? it out. Oh. <laughs> I, thought, I, just, I thought the sound of it against this thing, I thought it was like things falling. <laughs> what was that for? Just in case. Just a double lock? Double. I don't know. Oh, it's just literally, literally it's papers. Just one file. What, what is it? Benjamin Cobalt B27, trial number two and a half. Benjamin Cobalt, we've heard that name. B27. Is that from the chat logs? What? What? B27 is from the chat logs. Cobalt, 27th element on the periodic table. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's a cool looking. Oh. <gasps> what? What? <laughs> what? Did you see that? <gasps> I. S what? That's what? who this is. What? I. S there was a picture wait, in here wait. that really maybe I'm wait, no. maybe I'm jumping to conclusions, but there was a Polaroid in there that really leads me to believe. Wait, wait. I don't want to say anything, but. Temporary, temporary mask, mask 2.0. This is the Phantom. Can we recall the conversations that B27 had with, who was it? Was I, it I Deb? I can check the database. Yeah, can you check I, the database? Yeah. Is this it? Oh. It's Wes Talking with Wes. Okay, wait, we have to. Have we read this, sir? Have we seen this one? Can you cross-reference no. it with? Wait, I don't think we have. Can we see? So B27 was, they're out, of, they're out of cream in the break room. That was Regular him. vanilla. That what? was between D and B27. Benjamin worked with worked Deb? Well, in what context? Well, I, I mean, don't remember. Sh should we just read this yeah. again? So they're out of cream in the break room, regular vanilla, hazelnut, order confirmed. I have the lab report concerning patient A5159. In the results, I don't know how to say that, in the shins when attempting to work. We assume it might be due to complications from the spinal fusion. Will that affect the timeline for experiment number five? Yes, copy that. I will be in the lab at 11 a.m. tomorrow. Can you be there at 9 a.m.? No. Nelson needs you to run the second trial for experiment number six. The participant isn't ready. These are direct orders. I won't repeat myself. You can have Nelson contact me directly. So B27 okay. didn't seem too hostile. No. No. These two notes, who were obviously suspecting this is Wes, we can't confirm that, right? Like That Wes died? Well, that this belongs to Wes, we can't, or like who's writing these notes. Oh, we can't confirm because any this of is Wes's desk, right. at least we think. Seven ten oh three. So this is 
a month before Wes's death. Okay. Possible death. I know that he's in a lot of pain, but there's not much I can do at this point. Already have Scott working on completing the final touches of the mask. At this point, all I hope for is that it works. I think yeah. he blames me for the accident. The accident? The accident. I wow. think he blames me for the accident. I think the fire? The yeah, fire. That's the only accident, that's the only accident that I can think that's of I because mean, that's the only says, accident we know about. The only thing, like, because it says trial 2.5, so, like, it sounds like he was an experiment. Yeah. Of some kind. Well, but clearly he worked at Syntech, though, yeah. because of that chat yeah. log with Deb. Maybe they experimented on some of their employees. Like, maybe, maybe at a volunteered. certain point, yeah, maybe there were volunteers. 7.15.03, he's becoming far more aggressive than before. It might be a combination of the pain and the sedation drugs wearing off, but he's becoming much more violent. He won't stop screaming. He tried to grab onto me earlier. I'm pretty sure I have bruises or they'll be forming soon, but he's in danger to himself and others. I'm sure Nelson is proud. That's haunting. Well, but do you know what that makes me think of, specifically the part about screaming? That makes me think of the conversation that we overheard between Deb and Wes, how there was that screaming in the background. It was B-27? Maybe. It could have been. It could have been. What? What do you got there? Uh, so this is looks like a is there a date on a that report? No date. Okay. Uh, this is a follow-up report concerning experiment number two point five, 2 .5. Uh, for Project Pegasus. The okay. subject Benjamin Cobalt has experienced severe side effects due to the accident that occurred yesterday, uh, July tenth, two thousand three. Accident. During one of the priority testings. The fire. The fire is the only accident I can think of That's that we've heard of before. We well, we, we don't know, because yeah. remember, we when we first read <clears throat> Nelson Cyphus's name on that newspaper, it said that like he was at a conference or, or something and then had to leave because of an accident at Syntec. But I yeah. don't remember that being dated. Yeah, I was going to say, was there a date? There I yet? don't think Look, so. It was there to see through to the testing, but it was taken over by Wesley after. So okay. Wesley didn't write this by Wesley after a what? few minutes. This is one of the few times he's actively participated in a test like this. The side effects in question are severe, but localized pain at the injection point. Complaints Deb? Of is Deb writing this? I was going to say it might be Deb. Maybe. I think so. It kind of sounds like it. Complaints of hallucinations, headaches, and confusion. The worst of the damage done seems to be in the facial area. Oh, the mask. Where serum seemed to spill out of the throat, nasal oh. cavities, and eye sockets. He's not completely oh. blind, but time will tell if his eyesight gets any worse. Wesley is currently completing the plans for an emergency use device that will help him breathe at the very least. His body vehemently rejected the serum, even with the extra dose of radiation. In I did not have that reaction when I no. got no. it. Your no, face is fine. Maybe it's because you didn't get it injected. Maybe it's because you inhaled it. Yeah, maybe that was just a, a bonus that they figured out later on. Maybe. I'm sorry, it came out of his eyes and his, his throat, his nose. Every, every one of them. In fact, it seems as if the dose in question seemed to make it worse. The amount that we intended to use was not the same as the amount he was dosed with, but the reason for this is unclear at this point. Benjamin seems to think Who that- Who dosed him? Benjamin seems to think that Wesley upped the dosage on purpose. What? But. There is no evidence of this and is probably just the pain talking. As of right now, there is very little that can be done for him except to just treat the symptoms as they come. If Wes purposefully increased the dosage for B27, why would Wes also make him like a mask that saves his life? That I mean, doesn't make sense to it me. It sounds like it's part of the experiment. Then they would have had it ready, yeah. don't you think they would have had it ready? Then not like makeshifting something after the accident? I think it was a case of like, we stop giving him what's killing him or he just dies, if that makes sense. It could, it could be killing him slowly, but could also be saving his life. I just, why, why does he think Wes gave him extra doses? Like that doesn't make sense to me. What, is there anything else in here, yeah. or is that? Yeah, there's more. There's another, there's chat. I'm just concerned that Wes and Cyphus are doing this 
together. together. Okay, so yeah, we, we have a chat log between Wes and B27 here. Okay. Woods, do you want to read B27? I know that you're preparing yourself, but I still strongly advise against any testing of the Pegasus serum on yourself. It's far too early to begin trials. Considering I've gone over the readings numerous times, I don't see it being an issue. There's only so many things that can be accounted for, especially with a serum as volatile as this one. I trust my work. What? What? B27's Wait, work? Wait, what is this B27? Was B27 like a scientist here that I worked on? I suppose so. Maybe. Yeah, I trust, I trust my work. Nelson needs this done quickly. We're already behind schedule. Speed is important, yes, but not at the cost of someone's safety. I'd like to keep this professional, but please don't pretend to care. If something happened with me, it would be better for you in the long run, yes? What? Losing an important asset to Syntec wouldn't help anything. I can tell you that right now. I meant concerning Deb. What? <laughs> what? Is this... That is sounds this like a hostage situation. Like that a sounds like a love triangle. Wait, wait, wait. Let's, go, let's, wait, let's go back, no, let's go back. it was a love triangle. Oh, all the oh crazy because B27 messages. is saying like, if you got rid of me, like it'd be better for you with yes, Deb, Yes, huh? because all the messages that we saw <gasps> Between B27 and Deb. his RV yes. was like literally him obsessing over Deb. And Deb was like, leave me alone. You need to stop doing this. And we Remember thought that was emails? Wes. We thought that was Wes. And that's why he scratched out the face the of the The photo picture. of the Polaroid oh. that we found in the RV, that's why he scratched them out because he hated that. Oh, here we go. Okay, <laughs> Wes, listen, I know what she said hurt you, and it wasn't anything I coached her to say. She has a strong will and speaks her mind without the filter of emotions. And as awkward as the situation is, I still feel as if I owe you an apology. I never wanted any kind of relationship issues to enter the workplace for this reason. What? I don't need an apology. This chat is just for work-related practices, yes? Yes, of course, and I still think that you shouldn't be testing this on yourself. I'm assuming you won't be sitting in for this test. No, my assistant will act as my proxy. Please just be honest with me. You're not doing this for Deb, right? Not trying to prove yourself. I respectfully ask you not think of me as so juvenile. Whatever feelings I have for her, she only has reserved for you. This is strictly about Pegasus right now. I don't think it's safe. If documented consent is what you need, this is me saying that I am willingly going to perform it on myself. Okay. I shall see you once the testing is completed. Okay. Wow. I mean, tell me this isn't a much more clear picture of what's going on. So what's, At least with what's the, fans the picture? Have. The picture is B27, Benjamin, is performing this on himself, literally went crazy. <laughs> becomes the phantom. Yes, I think so. Because from these notes, it says that he was getting more aggressive. And if he was getting increasingly aggressive, if this happened in July and Wes died in August, that's like a couple weeks later. Yeah, and like and he has a motive. Yeah, I mean, jealousy. he was obviously jealous before he was even that's like crazy. taking the serum. But, but again, like everything in there about Wes, like makes me trust him and I, obviously i know that like we can't fully trust anybody in this but he was obviously concerned about these trials and knew that it wasn't ready i think wes was right on the nose that b27 you know benjamin was just trying to prove something maybe to himself maybe to nelson maybe to deb but this just makes me want to re-go over like everything we found does deb know do you think Deb knows that the Phantom is B27? Oh. I mean, because she clearly she knew Benjamin. What? What? Did There's more to it? this desk. Shut up. Look at this. Can you access it from the other oh. side of the show? <gasps> what is it? <gasps> what was that? Stop. There's more to this desk. Wait, check what? this. Wes. I left those pictures for Deb. She said they could be of use to her. Fix this company for the sake of all my life's work. Sorry for tricking you? What? Jordan. Jordan, Jordan Kendall, Kendall, the reporter. Okay, so from the perspective of Jordan, she was the like undercover journalist. Yeah. 
those pictures? Are they the pictures that we found on his body? Or in the case, like the pictures of the inside the lab? Maybe. Yeah, but there's also a picture here, isn't there? What is this? It's a face. Is Is that a face? It says ear. What? Or her. But what's that? Oh, I see, I see. That's like a mask or something on his face. Just think whatever is being Whatever is blurred out. Because it's a really poor picture. I know, that's great work, Jordan. Like, it's... Well, all these pictures are really... I mean, I, I understand she was working, like, Secretively, undercover. yeah, that's true. I, I mean, all I can think is that it's, like, a prototype of this. Sure. But Maybe. what's what's the significance? Because if Jordan was giving these photos to Wes, like, why? What else could... I mean, this desk, looks, this desk looks completely empty. Is this? Wait. Wait, stop, stop. <laughs> You're kidding. I think I just I just jokingly did this and it's totally flexing. There's totally do we have like is a the back of it flexing? Screwed? No. Is it just no? What? No. There's a space in between. There, there, there's space there in between. Is. Do you have like a flight? Oh, do we have like a Yeah, yeah, yeah. give me a sec. Sorry. Yeah, like looking at this. <gasps> More files! See that in there? Get up. Can we put the top back on? Because that was kind of useful yeah. as a yeah. desk. <laughs> well, this one is radiation test rats, number um, 10. Rats? Rats. It's not humans. Yeah. Trial 10, 3303. Okay, so early 2003. Yeah. Project, Project Pegasus. Pegasus. Project Pegasus consists of a dual reaction between two serums. For more information, look on page 7 of Project Pegasus project booklet. Project conditions, the red serum dubbed life's blood has an active amount of radiation. This trial is to test to see if pure radiation can stabilize life's blood completion with its twin serum. What? Huge dose of radiation indeed stabilizes the full serum cocktail in 10 out of 10 rats. The radiation dose of 2,000 to 5,000 MSU, the symptoms from the rats have seemed to calm. Wait, so are are those two parts combined? Like, is that what was in the serum bomb? Is that why radiation isn't like affecting you right now? No, no, because no, a huge dose of radiation indeed stabilizes the full serum cocktail. Yeah, so. So being exposed to radiation. Being exposed to radiation. Stabilizes the serum. Stabilizes the serum. Cocktail. Possibly though. inside of me, so I need a huge dose of radiation. We're not that doing that. Bad. We're not yeah. doing that. Complications. Wait, okay. We'll be checking back within six hours to see if any complications has arise. As of now, all animals are eating and passing urine and stool normally. Human trials should be approved soon. Benjamin. Benjamin Cobalt. Okay, so he was so the one doing his, the test. Yeah. I mean, clearly he was like a head scientist More. with Project Pegasus. Results. So using the serum bomb, se- the serum bomb. The serum bomb, yes. It w- the Wait, ser- what? That the was serum the bomb, that's what went off of the vault. <sighs> using the serum bomb seemed to produce a large expanse of radiation. More than 100 yards away was picking up at least 900 MSU calculations should be changed. The prototype can begin production for Nelson. After six hours, still no complications. <gasps> what? When's the last time we, had, we went to a location that had radiation, like a hundred yard radius? It was where we found that blood. Where we found the blood. So, so what does that mean? So that was their testing place? <sighs> is that how long radiation lasts? Or was it recent? Or is he testing the bomb Still? now? Still? We got a huge spike of radiation and we went to go search for it, right? It's, it didn't true. like it didn't just That's like true. locate radiation that had been there for years. We got like, an alert beep. that was like, hey, something bad, oh my God. And then we went out there. <clears throat> He's testing the bomb. What? What does that say? Currently we are on track with the demands of the project. Nelson wants the serum fully stable as quickly as possible and I intend to fulfill that desire. Wes was against the idea of testing on rats so soon, but these results being so promising should help my push towards human uh, trials. He wasn't pleased with that, wanted to use the ideas he already had and use it for my own, but it sped up progress tenfold. Hopefully Deb can give the okay. I think she'll be pleased at what's been accomplished. VC. So So he's doing this for Deb. So Benjamin is doing it for Deb. Mm -hmm. Why is Deb doing it? 
Deb feels like, I mean, I feel like in other Apple II chats and everything, it feels like Deb's been unwillingly doing it. Like, like she's, she's like, okay, I'm trying to like stall it from the inside. Yeah. You, oh boy. What? But, <laughs> what? <laughs> this looks familiar. Mm, plans oh. to the Death Star. Interesting. Great. What's that? What is that? that? We haven't seen that before. That looks mm. like a time bomb. Looks like a time bomb. Is, is this thing? another prototype? For something else, maybe he's working on now? Well, it's got the four vials. Right. Maybe it's, it's another more. prototype, yeah. True. Well, that's I mean, that's... oddly concerning. Yeah. Like, but why is this in Wes's desk? Well, that's what I'm saying is like, maybe this was all like sensitive information, like evidence that he had gathered maybe. from B-27. Concentrated, safe. Is there anything yeah. else in this desk? I mean, we took it apart. Everything that we've seen here consistently points to Benjamin Cobalt, who is the same guy who is assaulting us yeah. and stalking us. Regardless of the bigger picture, I'm trying to solve a murder here. All the information I have points directly to B27. However, everything's like vapor in the air, like we can't prove anything. True. I think, <sighs> you're not gonna like this. What? <laughs> I think we need to have a face to face. With who? B With B27. We need to rope him into incriminating himself. Do you have a plan for that? It's just like... You know what I do? I actually do have a plan for that. And? Guess what we left in his RV? A phone. The phone. Yes. I say we call him up. See if he's interested in chat. What? Me. No, he texted me. He did? You're kidding. No, I'm not. How about this? Tonight, in the courtyard. Confirmed? Confirmed. Go, 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 go. go, go. He's here. Wait, you're serious? Yeah, he's out there. Hello, Benjamin. Make sure to check out our new merch designs, available now for a limited time. Check them out using the link in the description below. If you've got any theories, discoveries, or memes, we want to see them on Spellbound Plus. And make sure to watch us go through all of your startling discoveries and creepy theories right here on We Are 863. You're in as deep as we are now. After all, you are the one that clicked. Stay curious.